Alright, we are about to play one of my favorite games of all time. I'm super excited for this. I'm going to turn it down for myself a little bit. Alright, we are going to play Tetris Attack. I love this game. I actually played this on um, my old channel. <laughs> um, but uh, we're going to play some more of it probably than I did the last time. Um, but I'm going to start it off the same way I did last time, and we're going to play Versus Mode. Uh, we're going to do a new game, and we're going to do it on the hardest difficulty, just because I've been playing this game for years. I was really young when we got this game. And, uh, so we're going to play the hardest difficulty. The way you get to the hardest difficulty is you, uh, put your cursor over hard, hold L, and up, and then press A. And see how it turned red back there? Yeah. That means we're in the hardest difficulty. Howdy there, welcome back to Yoshi's Island. Oh no, Bowser and his friends are at it once again. Using magic, he started the reins, a regular deluge. He even cast a spell on most of my friends. If nothing is done, the world will be flooded. Luckily, his spell didn't work on me, and I've figured out how to remove the spell. The time has come to defeat Bowser and his cronies. All right. So we run, we run, we run. Starts raining. Breeze stage, Lakitu and Goonie. So this is stage one. And I absolutely love this game. Oops. Messed that up. All right. Yeah, so you can make combinations of three, and then they'll disappear, and if you make combinations of more than three, you send a block over to your opponent, which gets them closer to the top. If you get to the top, you lose. You can do combos, which I keep missing right now. Yeah, it's been a while since I've played this. Like, uh, it's seriously one of my favorite games of all time. And it's one of those games, like, everybody has that game where, like, they put a lot of time into it. And they're like, yeah, I'm, I'm really good at this game. Like, like, me and my brother used to play all the time, and just, I'd kick his butt. <laughs> Here we go. Starting to get some more big combos going. Yeah. Oh, getting close to the top. If you get to the top, you die, so you gotta be a little careful. die on the first level. I know it's been a while, but still. Oh. Um. Oh, man. Whew! Alright. <laughs> that was a close one. I had to step it up a little bit if I'm going to actually beat this for you guys. <laughs> Alright, so the next, the other cutscenes are pretty much the same as the first one where he runs along the rainbow, it starts raining, and then he jumps to the next world. So I'm just going to skip them for now. And keep moving. Just for kind of pacing of the video. Uh, I gotta get my reaction times up. Like I keep doing moves that I know I could have done before and missing them because my reaction times are down a little bit. It's been a while. Alright, let's see. Either that or I just gotta get good. 
you know, one or the other. Oh. Yeah. I feel like I'm really messing up right now. Oh, right. Just keep sending stuff to me. Dang it! That's not what I wanted to do. I don't know, but I also feel like I have some monitor delay. Maybe? I'm not trying to blame... Like, I'm not trying to blame it on my hardware or anything, but... I don't have the best hardware, so... I feel like there's a slight delay in my, um, in my monitor. And it could be probably because I'm watching the capture instead of the TV screen that it's actually being played on. So that might have something to do with it. Yeah, here we go. Here comes a big one. Ba -da -ba -da. Ca -ca. Yeah, got him. See, I used to be able to beat these guys like, like I would beat every single level throughout this entire thing, except for maybe like the last two, in less than a minute. Like I used to speed run the heck out of hardest mode. I think on the video that was on my old channel and it's still up there like I never took it down but um I think I did beat most of them in under a minute all right I'm getting back in my groove here a little bit And the cool thing is if you, like, run out of pieces to use, you can hold L and or R, and it'll move it up for you so you have more pieces to work with. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. All right. I have focus. I got focus. Um... So there have never been any more Tetris Attack games, but like there was a Pokemon game for the N64, it was called Pokemon Puzzle League, and it was essentially the same exact game, um, which I rented when I was a kid because, you know, I, I love me some Pokemon, and uh, but I rented it, I took it home, and I started playing it, and I was like... Oh, crap. This is... This game is Tetris Attack. So, <laughs> I played through it, I rented it, and I played through it in a couple hours and took it right back. <laughs> Which was kind of cool. Because, um, again, back then, it was like I could beat the hardest difficulty in seconds. Also, some of the best music I've ever heard in any Nintendo game. I mean, Nintendo, for the most part, has some really good music, but, like, just the music in this game is killer. I love it. This... my controls. There we go. I'm starting to get back into the hang of it a little bit. It's just sometimes, sometimes the controls are a little wonky with it. Not because of the game, but because of my controller I'm using. It's not one that I'm used to. That, I mean, 
When's the last time you played Super Nintendo? <laughs> See, I like to let it build up sometimes and get towards the top, because then you get a lot of moves where you can send a lot of stuff to your opponent really quickly. And then, not only are you getting rid of the danger on your side, but you're causing more danger on their side. Stage four. We're going to do one more for this episode. Flying Wigger. <laughs> Wiggler. <laughs> oh my god. F flying Wiggler. Uh, I'm sorry. I cannot read half the time. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe I did that. <laughs> oh man. Oh. Uh. Wow. That's going to be the title of this episode. Hashtag I can't read. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's not really ever good to be in a spot where you don't have any moves. Like, even if you get, like, all the way down to the bottom, you might think, Oh, that's cool, like, I've got all this space. But then, out of nowhere, they send you, like, so many bad blocks that you can't do anything because you don't have any moves you can do. And you're just all the way to the top already. Not as speedy as I used to be. I'm getting slow in my old age. Yeah, this is where it gets cool when you can start adding the metal blocks to the combos. So basically, what I have to do is I have to do a little more setup. I can't really do the combos as fast as I used to if they're not already set up. And in the past, this frog has given me some trouble. So. Yeah, I'm starting to build up here. Let's get some combos out of here. Back in the day, those combos would have been no problem. And I could have... I used to get times tens on people, like, all the time. Just ten chain combos. Alright, so that's stage five. I think there's 13 stages. So I'm going to call this episode here. And when we come back, we will be on the next stage. So thank you for watching Tetris Attack. This is my absolute favorite game of all time. I just love it. And hopefully I'll start getting better at the controls again. But uh, So I can do some really cool stuff for you guys. But I'll see you in the next one. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, see ya.